Welcome to Season 2 of Barn Fresh, a motorcycle restoration. If you followed along in Season 1, you saw me completely restored to a factory original 1970 F5 Bighorn, as you see here. From start to finish, from pulling it out of the barn to the finished product you see here. And along with that bike, you may have noticed that I uh, had pulled out two other bikes, and that's what I'm going to use for the basis of the bike in this next series. We're going to take both of these bikes and make one. However, we're not going to restore them to factory original. The focus of this series is going to be on creating somewhat of a vintage motocross bike uh, using uh, parts from both bikes because actually savvy viewers might have noticed that uh, there's an aftermarket expansion chamber on here and I'm told this is a Bassani. Uh, somebody will correct me out there if I'm wrong. So we're going to probably use that. Uh, there's some aftermarket shocks here that look like they're rebuildable, so we might use those because they're probably better than, uh, than these factory ones that are similar to what they put on the street bikes of the day. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're going to take kind of the average guy approach to building a uh, vintage motocross bike similarly to what the average guy that may have had a big horn back in the day and decided I want to try getting into racing, but I don't want to plunk down a grand or more for a dedicated race bike uh, at the time. So focus on this series will be basically somewhat performance based, but generally just making a good, reliable, um, strictly dirt bike. So that means we're going to probably be uh, taking all the lights off, gauges, instrumentation, anything that we don't need. Probably replace bars, controls, and things like that. Probably take some liberties here and there just for ease of sourcing parts. For example, like handlebar. Probably go to a modern uh, aluminum bar. Same with controls. Go to modern universal uh, controls. Uh, we'll try to do some weight savings where we can, like obviously eliminating things like a kickstand. Uh, various brackets that are not that won't be needed um, when we strip down. Probably go to plastic fenders and things. Um, you know, probably won't do any major major things like you no. Know, probably won't do any fab work uh, or anything. Just keep it relatively stock. But we may do some uh, engine or some engine modifications to the cylinder and things like that, or the rotary valve disc, I don't know. You know, honestly, this series is going to be more of a, uh, an update type series. I mean, I'll show you some, some how-to, obviously, sprinkled in there, like I always do. But this will mostly be kind of what I'm, what I'm going to do, where the project's going, what uh, obstacles I have encountered, and, and then how I either overcome them and whatnot. So. You know, this is going to be a little different take. I think uh, some of you out there will like it uh, because I know some people definitely, you know, probably would like to see a performance build on something other than maybe a modern bike. Those, those videos are all out there. So, I hope you like this series. I'm excited to get started on it. So, until next time, like my Facebook page, check out the website, and watch the first series. And thanks for watching. Three, <clears throat> three, two, one. Welcome to the net. Welcome to season two of Barn Fresh. Uh, this bike, which we're going to take a little bit different direction with this. We're going to uh, take. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do it that way. Okay. Take two. Three, two, one. Welcome to Season 2 of Barn Fresh, a motorcycle restoration. If you followed along in Season 1, you saw me completely restored to a factory original 1970 F5 Bighorn, as you see here. From start to finish, from pulling it out of the barn to the finished product you see here. Okay, that's pretty